I know, I know. I just, I'm a horrible vlogger. I know, please. You don't, you ain't gotta say nothing. Anyways, hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday the 26th, the 27th. And it's the day after Black Friday. Did y'all do any Black Friday shopping? I don't, um, did y'all do any Black Friday shopping? I did. Skims was having a really good sale. Shout out to Kendra for even posting about it because I wouldn't have known. So yeah, I got a few things from Skims. Uh, some things from H&M in the store, like just essentials that I needed. And then I got some pieces from Hanifa, which is a black owned luxury, black owned designer brand. And they had like a, um, they had a Black Friday sale, 35% off, which is really good for a designer brand. So I got a few things from them, like just two pieces, but I, they're about to be so, so good. So I'm waiting on that in the mail. And then I got a few things from Amazon, like some electronics. What else? That's about it. I didn't really do like any heavy Black Friday shopping. Oh, and then me and my sister went half on, me and my sister bought my mom a wash, a new wash and dryer because it was needed. So Merry Christmas to her. She doesn't know yet. I'm getting ready to head out to go to Fort Lauderdale with my sister. We're going to see if we can try to get into some places, hopefully, since it's like, oh my gosh, where's my lash? Uh, since it's like the weekend and we don't have any reservations, it's pretty spontaneous. I don't know if y'all remember, but when I was here last time, um, we went to the beach house Pompano. Just to be a real sister and actually like each other. So cheers. It's clean. Cool. Yeah, I said this is gorgeous. Like, it's so cool. Like, strawberry and coconut. What does my taste like? Mango. Mango. And it was such a vibe. Like, I really wish I was able to show y'all the view from, like, the booths, but we didn't get a booth. So hopefully this time we'll be able to get a booth. If not, we have another place that we want to go to that we've both never been to, so. I don't know what I want to get myself for Christmas. Like, if I'm being real with y'all, Christmas is not like my favorite holiday. I feel like outside of the meaning behind Christmas, when you think of it in the more traditional sense, like more modern age sense, like it, it, it being about gifts and giving and stuff like that. I just feel like for the most part, Christmas is a child's holiday i mean you can never be too old for gifts right but i'm not asking anybody for no gifts like that's just not what i'm doing like oh i want no i'm not doing that we're not doing a christmas wish list over here so yeah if my mom asks me what i want um i literally always tell her nothing because she's anytime i need something i know i can count on her so it's nothing oh jesus so yeah i don't have a christmas wish list and if anything, I know what I'm getting for other people versus what I would even want for myself. Now, granted, I do have something in mind that I really want, y'all. And it is a high, it's, 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 a, it's a luxury item, you know, whatever, whatever luxury means to you, right? Like, whatever that looks like to you. But to me, it is a luxury brand. And um, I have something that I really want that I want to purchase, but I don't know when I want to purchase it. If I want to purchase it this year, if I want to wait, I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like they would be a good staple in my wardrobe. So pretty much I want the Prada monolith loafers, but the pointed toe ones, oh, I just feel like I'll insert a picture right here for you. Um, I just feel like this loafer, like this shoe, mm, would, would would just work so well in my wardrobe. And I don't know, it's just nice. Anyways, let me tell you. I went to Dee Dee's Discounts the other day and I found these, which are some white loafers, but they have like that lugged sole. So I want to say these are like Prada dupes. Obviously the toe is not pointed, but it's also not squared either. But yeah. These are like the Prada dupes, but not like the pointed toe, but these are so cute. Y'all, I've searched high and low for my size, and even these are still kind of like a little too big for me, um, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't leave without it. So, these were $14 at Dee Dee's Discounts, and they're just so freaking cute. Nothing a thick, like, no-show sock wouldn't do, you know what I mean? That's what I want to give to myself. 
we'll see i don't know i don't want it to be a thing of like oh i want it now but then later i don't want it but still i don't think that'll be the case because loafers are so are such a timeless piece like you can't not well you can't not like loafer right but they're such a timeless piece so i'm thinking about getting that for myself or gifting that to myself but it has to be the pointed toe loafers where's the oh y'all this mascara i don't want to keep chatting but give me one second there's a mascara that i want you to see this mascara this l'oreal voluminous original mascara come on focus ain't that what the girls are doing yeah this mascara babes vibes vibes Mm, I don't know if I want to wear lipstick. I think I might do nude. I think I'm in a nude, a nude mood. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting dressed and getting ready, and then I will see y'all later. Faces the water, and I really, really wanted to come here for that. So we ended up coming here, mind you. I done made reservations for yesterday and Thursday, but we ended up not coming. And so today we just came here like on a whim. And now they're talking about the booths are like um, closed off to like a private party. So I'm sitting here. We go back to sitting in the spot that we went to last time, and I'm just like not in the best of moods because the only reason why I wanted to come here was to be able to sit in the booth, relax, be comfortable, and look at the ocean, look at the water. So then I'm telling my sister, I'm like, she's like, are you okay? And I was like, oh, I'm all right. And she's like, wait here one second. <laughs> Leaves for like five minutes. And she goes, I got you your booth, bitch. <laughs> and so now we're sitting in the booth, yay! Overlooking the water. It's a nice, beautiful day. And it's not even too hot. It's like kind of cool, very excited. Yay! Got a frozen daiquiri. I mixed my mango and strawberry, and then Amy just got. What you get? I got a mango. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to eat our Bradley. <laughs> just having to fix everything before we get a photo. I told y'all, we are those two people that you can see taking pictures of our food before we eat. Like, no games. This tastes like Florida. Mm. Delicious. What are they, honey? Mm. Honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. I 
I did this last time, but I got flipped. So y'all, I'm back. I'm out back in Palm Beach. It is Sunday. Um, me and my mom are actually about to go ride bikes. I just parked the car, so I'm heading over to meet her. I just dropped off at the shop so she can get us our bikes, and then I'm gonna see what she's doing. different that's because I'm back in my apartment in Atlanta and I didn't really show me traveling back to Atlanta it's just, it was just so hectic like trust me just a 7 8 a.m. flight like it was it was hectic so <laughs> anyways um, yeah we start off with a unboxing y'all know when I sit down and I have y'all on my windowsill it's about to be an unboxing so I just want to share with you all some of the things that I have purchased within the last couple of days so yeah let's get into it First things first, I seen that or I seen that the Google Nest Hub was on sale for $50. Shout out to D Lolo on Instagram. She's always sharing the goods. The reason why I picked this up is because when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I like to bring my laptop in there so I can watch something or listen to someone speak while I'm cooking. So I have a Google Home. I have a Google Home, but it's like the, the mini and all it does is just plays music things of the sort, you know what a Google Home is, right? So I wanted something that will be able to show me my YouTube videos while I'm cooking so I don't have to bring my laptop from the living room to the kitchen and the back of weather and if it's dying, I just, I just needed something that I could watch YouTube from while I'm in the kitchen. Very, very important. So when D Lolo posted this on Instagram, I was like, hey, go pick up this Google Nest at, <laughs> at Target for 50 bucks. It's on sale for 50 bucks and I think originally it's at least $100 or more. So I got the all white one. The next thing that I picked up are a pair of sneakers. It is directly from the sneakers app. They gave me exclusive access. The only other time that I've ever gotten exclusive access through the sneakers app was for the Retro 11 Jubilees, which I have as well. So when they sent me an exclusive access to this, I was, it was, it's unexpected. Like you don't know when you're gonna get exclusive access, what time, what shoe you're gonna get exclusive access from. So if you use the sneakers app and you get that notification, it's like always shocking, like me? I was sitting on it for a minute. I was like, I don't know, but then, I was like, nah, I gotta get these. And if I don't care for the way that they look in person, then I'll just send them back because this um, retro sneaker that I'm about to show y'all in a second, there are a few key differences with this sneaker. So I just wanted to know like, am I gonna really like them in person? So anyways, they are, they come in this box here. So they're a pair of Jordans. They are the Retro 11, Cool Gray 11s to be exact. Um, and I get my Retro 11s in a size five always. A size five and boys just to be good so yeah it comes wrapped up like this which isn't like i mean for these to be the retro 11s i would have expected i would have expected a little bit more razzle dazzle in the packaging but whatever and especially for the price that i paid anyways so here are the sneakers so Freaking happy to have these. These are like a staple. Um, I don't, 
I have never, I've never considered myself a sneakerhead, but if you are into sneakers, then you know for a fact that the Cool Gray 11s, the Cool Gray, cool gray 9s are just a staple. Like they're just going to be a traditional type of shoe that you need to have. So forget all the other sneakers, all the retro sneakers that come out in different colorways and all that good stuff. Like these Cool Gray 11s, in my opinion, are always going to be a staple. They're always going to be an essential pair of retro Jordans, in my opinion. I really love the fact that the 11s are now coming out in like the thick laces, which I believe they usually give men's, but not on like boys or kids shoes. It normally is like a thinner pair of laces, which I posted on my Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, please feel free to do so. Um, I posted a comparison on my Instagram, so that way um, people knew exactly what I was talking about if you didn't own the pair of sh if you don't own these pairs of shoes So anyways, yes, love 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 this shoe. Ugh, so happy Hello and good morning everyone. Today is Saturday. I am currently on my way to go get my nails done and my feet done. Y'all, I need to get my feet, my toes done so bad. I have like a nude, <clears throat> like a nude, pinkish nude color on my toes, but never again. I'm just gonna stick to the white. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, they don't look bad, but they just look like, I don't, like they look like I have something on my toenails, but if I was to take a picture, it would look like I don't have any polish on my toes. So I'm just gonna stick to the white. It doesn't matter the season, the time of the year, whatever, girl, is white toes for me. And then I'm gonna get my nails done. Um, I'm gonna get it done. If you watched my last vlog, then you would have seen the two designs that I had in mind. Yeah, it's about to be nine o'clock, I think. So I'm just trying to get my day started early and get things out of the way because when I get back home, I'm probably gonna be home all day filming. I just wanna get back into this. Like every time I leave Atlanta and then I come back from Palm Beach, it's like, it takes me just like a second or two to really get back into the swing of things. So that's where I'm at. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> today, all I can say is that today has been a day, okay? I dressed up the nail salon. When I tell you I am dying from a hunger headache right now, and guess what time it is. Y'all remember when I, what I said earlier, what time it was when I was at the house? It was about to be 9.30 or close to 9.30 because I wanted to make it to that salon at 9.30. What time is it? It's 1.45. Let me explain. So, I just I need to figure out what, I, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go get Chipotle. I'm gonna go get some Chipotle. Listen, y'all. So I go to the nail salon that I'm, you know, that I'm frequenting and i'm going over there to obviously get my nails done and they open at 9 30. mind you i left my house at before 9 30 so by the time i got there it would be 9 30 and they would have just opened up it's saturday it's the weekend so i figured you know let me get there early so that way i don't have to be waiting and on top of that i have a lot of things to do <sighs> that doesn't matter though i get to the place at 9 30. <laughs> Nobody's there. It's me and another lady. And she's sitting outside. She looks like she's been sitting there. Maybe she came there at like, I don't know, maybe like 920, 925, just waiting for them to open. And I get there and it turns 930. I don't see the lights on, nothing. Nobody comes to open a door. So, okay, whatever. At that point, at when 930 hits, I'm already annoyed that they're not open because you're a whole business. It's not like... I don't want to equate it to anything else because I was thinking like, you know how like when you go and get your hair done and they're not ready at 11 and your appointment was at 11 and they're still doing somebody's hair at 11. Like, I can kind of, I can kind of get that. My thing is it's like, you're a whole business. You have a whole storefront. How are you not open the time that you said that you are open? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I'm very much so confused and concerned. So I'm thinking, all right, bet. 9.30 hits, I'm automatically annoyed off rip. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, just because it's like, I made plans to be at 
the nail salon at 9.30, get my nails done and my feet done. I know I got two things to do, so I know it's going to take a little bit more time than usual. And y'all are not open at the time that you say you're open. It's even on the door. It says 9.30 on the door. I'm like, all right, bet. I sit there for five minutes. And again, at 9.30, y'all not open. I'm already irritable. 9.30? I'm like, I'm over it. At this point, y'all are playing with me. You're playing with my time. I'm over it. Like, I just feel like there's no excuse. If you are running a storefront, a business, and y'all are not like a small-owned business, y'all are a whole nail salon, it literally makes no sense. And so I called the business. No answer. I said, F that. I'm not waiting any longer. Y'all got me messed up. Like... I have shit to do <laughs> so I leave and on my way leaving I knew when I left that they would have came to the door that they would have been open while I was on the road to go somewhere else they were gonna somebody was gonna come there and open up a shop but it's just the principle like I just felt so annoyed that I had to sit there and wait I leave and on my way to go to the next nail salon I call them just to see if they're gonna pick up lo and behold they pick up so I'm like what time do y'all open? Do y'all open at 9.30 or do y'all open at 10? Because I was there at 9.30 and nobody was at the shop. Y'all, this lady gonna tell me, oh, there was traffic. What? What do you mean there was traffic? Y'all know y'all supposed to be at the shop at 9.30. What's going on? Now, mind you, this is not the first time this has happened to me. This is the second time it happened to me. There was another time where I went to the same nail salon and I went there at 9.30 again and they weren't there. But they came in like maybe like five, seven minutes later after opening, so 9.37, 9.35. But this time it was 9.40. Like, I'm not sitting here waiting on y'all. Like, y'all, it's this is dumb. I, I swear I never have the best of luck when it comes to nail salons. All right, y'all, so <laughs> it is now 11.24. I just got done filming, um, filming both for reels, TikTok, YouTube shorts, a YouTube video, well, two YouTube videos, and um, I'm starving. I need, to get, I need to eat something again. But yeah, my room is a mess, y'all. Like, I need to put everything away because I, I won't be able to focus <laughs> so I need to put everything away and then I'll be able to like sit down and relax heat up some food and eat and maybe like watch a YouTube video or something like that somebody's vlogging this video um and yeah but like this this is just oof, yeah, ghetto like that's what it's giving right now Today is Sunday. It is 10 a.m. I am up editing one of the videos that I filmed last night, which I'm trying to edit it today and post it today. Um, so that way people have something to refer to when they have questions about the hair that I'm wearing now. Y'all, last night my camera died on me while I was showing you all me cleaning up um, the, the bathroom's countertop. I just cleaned the bathroom's countertop because it was messy. And then I came out here and I cleaned the kitchen's countertop. <clears throat> um, and I cleaned up just like 
just like put things away because it was just getting just getting a little messy so yeah that's what happened that's what y'all missed and then i ended up reheating some of my leftovers and then watching you on netflix but yeah anyways today is going to be a pretty busy day so i want to try to get this video edited and out of the way before i leave the house today because i have to run some errands i need to go get some groceries because the fridge is like there's nothing there that's it also if you are a content creator or if you create content and you need something to help you with prioritizing and managing the workload that you have i have recently found out about trello which is an online like project management service let me see let me make sure i'm, I'm saying this right Trello is a web-based Kanban style list making application is developed by Trello Enterprise. I think Kanban is like an Asian. You ever see those boards that are like grid like and they have different sticky notes or different um, pieces of information that you can move around? Pretty much I think that's what it is. I think that's what a Kanban board a uh, Kanban is. I think it's a called a Kanban board. Trello is set up just like that, except it's over the internet and it's not a physical um, piece of paper that you would be moving so that's what i have um i watched a bit of youtube videos and i'll leave the two that i watched down below in the description box if you're interested in it but um at first it was pretty confusing but i just kind of like just dumbed it down for myself and made it so simple that it would be easy that it would be easy for me to work with um and then also you can add people to it so if you have like um your manager or somebody that you work with and you want them to see your work and what you have in mind like your content ideas and what you have planned for each platform then you can add them to this and the reason why i wanted to create um a workspace within trello is because i want to branch out to more like i want to branch out to more uh social media platforms not just solely focusing on instagram all at once so this is a way for me to kind of keep track of those things um and to keep track of the things that i have in mind like let's say i have an idea like a video <clears throat> where i want to do a spend a day with me i know that i might upload it as an instagram reel but then i also want to remember to upload it to tiktok upload it to pinterest upload it as a youtube short things like that and it's like it can be kind of hard to manage when you're solely focusing on one platform so this allows me to just kind of like map everything out and see it outside of just my planner i hope that makes sense but yeah um <clears throat> There won't be a vlog going out today, but hopefully this hair review will go out today. I'm not participating in Vlogmas because I just know it takes a lot of work and it's not something that I planned properly for. So Vlogmas won't be happening for me. Hopefully next year, like hopefully next year I'll have my stuff together and we can we can do Vlogmas. Um, but also it's like, yeah, hopefully we can do Vlogmas. Yeah, y'all, there's really not much that I have to say for today. I'm just trying to uh, knock some things out, edit this video and get it out of the way. So yeah hello y'all it's later on in the day i just got done filming another video i'm putting away my clothes now um i just put away my lights i'm starving i'm so hungry it's like it doesn't make sense the lighting isn't the greatest my apologies but i'm just trying to sort my clothes so i could put them back into the closet where they belong yeah, it's the same process. I'm bringing y'all in the bathroom. Um, just putting away my stuff so that way I can like lead a normal life. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. If y'all haven't, well, y'all probably wouldn't notice, but I moved my wig over slightly. <laughs> moved my wig over slightly to the other side. Um, I'm not a huge side part girl, but if I do need to do a side part like if i want something for a change then i just slide it over slightly i don't do like a deep part i just slide it over slightly i'm a middle part girl it's just my thing i just feel like it just gives grown woman energy you know and that's the energy that i always want to give i need to like declutter my makeup get rid of some stuff because i don't even use eyeshadow I don't even use eyeshadow palettes anymore. I just use my bronzer to do my eyeshadow. And that's it. 
but I don't like necessarily do eyeshadow and all that stuff. No, I'm making dinner. I'm cooking so I can have something to eat. And my camera's dying, so I will talk to y'all later. Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. I just went to the front office and I got some packages. I will do an unboxing, but I'm like. I keep doing these unboxings on my vlogs when I could just do a collective haul. So I'm planning on doing a collective haul. I have a few more things that I'm waiting on in the mail so that way I can bring you all a collective haul. But I'll just let you know that what, a few of those pieces are gonna be coming from Hanifa. Y'all, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to order something from Hanifa and Black Friday just gave me the opportunity to do so. Very excited to see the products. Hi everyone, it's so shaky. That's why I like, I don't understand why it's so shaky now all of a sudden. But hi y'all, today is Thursday, Thursday evening. I'm on my way to um, New York Prime and Buckhead, which is a steakhouse, I believe. I'm going there for a corporate dinner. So I'm actually meeting like some people that I work with for the first time in person, <laughs> which is very exciting. Um, but still has me a little nerve nervous um traffic is uh, ridiculous it's stupid bad i think i've seen like four accidents on my way and i'm not even like close to being there so i really hate the way y'all drive in atlanta like i really hate it i tried to film a tiktok video just to, like a get ready with me and i switched up my outfit a few times so i don't even know if it's actually gonna work <laughs> the way that i wanted to um, I had on a white button down before I put on this brown top, which is from Zara, which still has a tag on it that I literally need to take off. Like, that's how much, like, in a rush I was towards the last bit of me getting ready. On my way here, I'm telling you, I've seen four accidents. One of those accidents, like, a man was laying down on the ground, and an officer was, like, next to him, like, kneeled down next to him. But the man wasn't moving, like, he just wasn't moving. And I'm just like, ugh, that's, like, so traumatic to see, y'all. Like, I almost started crying because and I couldn't even look more than twice like I just I couldn't look because God forbid something really like this man isn't alive anymore you know but whenever I see accidents I always like say a prayer for everybody that's involved like always no matter what yeah we're going to a steakhouse so but I'm, I'm gonna order some I'm gonna order me a nice little steaky wake yeah um I don't think I'll be vlogging inside because obviously like it's a work event and I don't want to pull out a camera at a table with people like that's weird one it's not really weird but it's weird when like they wouldn't know what it's for and then if i had to explain like i don't want to have to explain me doing youtube and con creating content on like that's i'm not doing it so if i could get a video on my phone i will but if i i don't i'm sorry um my outfit is really it's pretty cute i think i'm actually wearing my doc martin Jaden boots which are the really thick platform boots I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to wear it just because it's like a corporate dinner. Saying it out loud now, I'm just like, why did you wear this? But <laughs> why did you wear the boots? But like, I didn't really want to wear heels. I, I wanted to be comfortable. We're going to be sitting at a table the whole time. I think, I think, I mean, it's a steakhouse. Like, they're not going to have like a private room for us to stand around and talk. Like, that's the Christmas party. I think this is just like the Atlanta office dinner. That's it. It's just a dinner. So... Yeah, I wore my boots <laughs> with a blazer. This blazer is from H&M. The top is from Zara, like I said. And then I have some pants that are also from Zara, which I think are really nice. Um, so yeah, I've been in a funk lately. I'm also like, it's, it's, I'm also on my cycle. So that's like heightening my emotions and my feelings. <sighs> if you get it, you get it. To the girls that get it, get it. Yeah, I hope the dinner goes well. I hope. I don't have to engage in small conversation like small talk. I really don't like small talk, but I know that's something that I'm just gonna have to get used to. And then um, what I've been learning is that I need to get comfortable with awkward silence. Like you, you just have to get comfortable with it. Sometimes like people are just not gonna have anything to say. And so you kind of have to get used to awkward silence. I remember I was meeting up with, one, with a mentor of mine at my job and it was the first time I was meeting him and it was really quiet and I was like this is kind of awkward and he was like I was like I don't want it to be awkward and he was like don't worry he was like sit in it it's fine like you know we let's just let's just stay quiet for a second we were just like freaking quiet on a zoom call for like a good few seconds which felt like forever 
And so even though it was kind of cringy at the moment for me, I'm learning that, you know, it's okay to have moments of just dead silence and it not be cringy or it not be awkward. And even if it is awkward, so what? Like we're humans, it's normal. Oh, and another thing I just be feeling like when I meet people for the first time, I like sometimes I be feeling like I have to hold the conversation. <laughs> because, and you know why I realize why I feel like I have to hold the conversation because I don't like awkward silence. But again, it's it's no longer I don't like awkward silence. It's more it's moving more towards I'm fine with awkward silence. It's actually okay. But you know, when it's quiet and nobody's talking, I just be wanting to be the person to bring up a conversation. Like, oh yeah, yeah. So let's talk about. And it's like, girl, just shut up sometimes. <laughs> just relax. Yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Hey everyone, today is Saturday. I'm tripping. Today is Friday, December 31st. By the time you're watching this, it will already be 2022. Um, I was gonna say 2020, I don't know why. But I, um, I know that this vlog is long overdue. It's well overdue and I should have been posted it, but life. And um, I, by this time you would have, if you haven't already, already seen my year in review. That's already up on my channel. And I just wanna say thank y'all for rocking with me in 2021 and um, supporting my channel in the capacity that you do. I do appreciate it. Hopefully I, in 2022, I hope that I will continue to, I will hope that I will continue to keep vlogging because not only is it entertaining for y'all, it's also something that allows me to look back at where I was at that time. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and supporting my channel again, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.